four-in-one camp stove, Ozark Trail. This is $12 from Walmart. It comes with a stand. This is the burner. See right here? This is the burner. And this part right here attaches to a butane cylinder, which is this right here. So we'll attach to the top of this, screw onto it. And it has an adapter right here. You can take this adapter and use it on a propane cylinder. So it's 12, about 1247 is I think is what it exactly, is the exact price at Walmart. Ideal for backpacking and camping, it's light. But by going, going to carry it backpacking and camping, I would only use the butane and I don't, I don't, I would only carry this half a pound cylinder. Okay, I will, I will take this pocket knife and open this up. It comes with a little pouch, a carrying pouch. Ideal for backpacking and camping. Heavy duty uh, stainless steel, automatic strike fire, aluminum stove adapter, foldable stove burner canister stand, which is a little black uh, piece to stand, durable carry and storage case, which is this. All right, let's take our old trusty knife and let's open it up. Don't ever, doesn't everybody love an unboxing? I know they're boring, so when I get this open, I'll be right back. <laughs> Nobody wants to see me sit here and try to, well, let's see how long it takes me to open it. Okay, my friends, I've got this, I've got it open. This right here on top, see that little metal piece? That's the striker. This screws onto the butane tank. See the self, th the thread, the, this is the, uh, <clears throat> the female part, the threads. And around the top, see this little burner, around the top, this right here folds out. These little, I'd call them fans, little fans, they fold out. And it holds your boiler. So, see here, they fold out and then you have a little piece here on top, you flip it over. It's easy peasy. Pull the fans around, flip the flap over. And this, this is what allows it to hold a boiler, easy peasy. It's perfect for this size boiler. Stainless steel, about, this is a 20 ounce boiler. Ozark Trail, 547 Walmart. It sits right on top of here. This screws straight onto here. Easy peasy. Make sure the valve's shut. It is shut, I guess. Yeah, all the way to the right should be shut. To the left is open. So it is shut. Make sure it's shut. If not, as soon as you screw this on, your gas will come out. Easy peasy, watch here. This is the Ozark Trail four in one stove. Why do they call it a four in one? I really don't know. I'd say number one because it will work on butane or propane. This adapter right here will screw onto your propane cylinder and the bottom of this, the top of this, that's the bottom, it screws into the propane tank. The one pound grain cylinder, that screws into the propane. The top of this screws into the, the bottom of this stove. And I will show you also on the propane. Right now we're going to do the butane. So we've got everything set up with the legs. Let's see if it will ignite. Let's turn the gas on. And here's the self striker. See this little orange button? You push it. See it shouldn't light because the gas is not on. All you do is hear it click. And here's the igniter right here. Let's find out if it works without having to use the actual lighter. Hear the gas? So it's ready. Uh oh. That thing doesn't seem to be so great. Let's try it again. So I'm going to get a real lighter. We don't want to waste no gas. That striker seems to be not worth a crap. Right here, see? So I'll be right back. Let me get a lighter. Now we got a lighter. Get lit, lit, blue flame. Listen at it. That's fine, look at her, oh my lord. Look at that big flame, look. Look how big that is. Woo! Let's turn it down. Turn it down to low. Low's right there. All right, well, I'm gonna move the camera closer. And we're going to see how long it will take to boil some water. Okay, my friends, here's the stand. See this little black part of this? I'm going to turn this off temporarily because we wouldn't need to be wasting all the gas. 
let me show you how the stand works. It's simple. It's very simple. And this one guy was having a hard time putting it on. From, I think he lived in South America. It's simple. Open these up. Let me put the stove down. It opens up. And you see the, the little notches right here? Open it up like this. Just simple. I stick, I'm going to stick it in that last one. Look how it fits in there perfect. I mean, it's it's easy. I ain't got this one in. Hold on. One second. But we're fixing to have right there. There we go, right there. It's in there. Look how easy that was. See? You open it up and just see how it slides on the outer. Each leg, the outer space, slides onto this canister. And that's your, that's your st stand. We really don't need it, but we'll use it anyway. All right, let me go get some spring water in the house and we'll boil some water. Let's take this right here in the lighter. And we'll try, you wanna try the, the manual igniter? I just don't think it, maybe it ain't close enough. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't even see it producing a spark. I don't. So let's do it with this again. There we go, simple. Listen to it. Look at that big flame. Look at that. The thing is put out some heat there. I've got, uh, I always use spring water. So let's use some deer part. Uh, let's see how long it takes to boil eight ounces. Cup. A dark striper on cup is eight ounces. Here we go. Pour the water in here to make sure we got exactly eight ounces. Here we go. Okay, that's eight ounces, which is slightly below half. It just set it right here on top, set it on a, a, you know, set it somewhere. And what has happened here is, see these right here, they have folded back over by accident. Let's push them back, take, take something metal. There we go. We will set this beside the grill. Set the boiler on there. Which works fine, let me show you. So see, look how simple this is. It's on the stand. We've got the flames on. Let's turn it on high. It's only been on here about 10 seconds. Let's see how long it takes to get it. Listen that. See that blue flame? We'll cut it on high. And see how long it takes to boil eight ounces. I say it takes less than two minutes. I say it's as good as a, what they call a pocket rocket stove. One of them stoves that costs about 60, 80, 100 dollars. It's already bubbling. Look here. Everybody's bringing back those pocket stoves. It's been about 50 seconds. Maybe one minute. It's already bubbling. And the reason I know I've got a counter over here, a timer. It's been a minute and 10 sec uh, 12 seconds. And it's already smoking. It's already boiling. I see, I see a little steam coming off of it. And this isn't wide open. This is actually between medium, the valve, it's actually turned between medium and high. So it's not all the way up. We could turn it a lot higher than this. So here's your, this right here is the uh, valve. That's wide open right here. Which is just wasting gas if you turn it on a little higher. So I'm going to turn it down to medium. And it's already boiling. Look here in two minutes. One minute and 50 seconds, exactly. Look at there, boiling. Let's turn, let's turn it off. We boiled it. In, one minute, 50 seconds, eight ounces. Turn the valve all the way to the right and the stove goes off. Make sure not to burn yourself. Oh, it's hot. Hey, the handle's a little bit hot, be careful. It's not, on the very end, it's not really hot. But look here, one minute and 50 seconds. That pocket rocket stove doesn't have anything on this one. One minute and 50 seconds. Now. I'll be right back. We will make some coffee, instant coffee. Let me put this back what on the we're tripod. Going to use is this right here? 
Taster's Choice, Nestle Taster's Choice House Blend. Eight ounce styrof uh, styrofoam cup here. I've already tore the end off. Let me see if I get a tear it open enough. I don't know. Yeah. Make sure you dump it all in there. Don't waste it. Okay, one of these is for eight ounce cup of coffee. And you get six of these in a box, but we're not doing a review on Taster's Choice. But it says you get six of these packets in a box. And they're usually about a dollar to a dollar twenty-five at Dollar General or or Dollar Tree. So now all we have to do is take and pour our water, boiling water. And I'm impressed with this stove. One minute and 50, 45 to 50 seconds, and it was boiling. At one minute, it was already boiling, bubbling, remember? So it was probably hot enough at a minute. Look, look at the smoke coming off of it, the steam. Look at this. This was the land on me, it would scald me. I'm very impressed with this Ozark Trail 4-in-1 stove. See there, it's full all the way to the top. This makes a perfect backpacking stove because that thing is super light. Stir this up. So I actually like this stove better than the, the other one uh, I just got through doing a review. It was the, it was the Coleman Peak 1. Coleman Peak 1 stove. It was $22. It was a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier, I think. So here we go. Taste test. Taste is choice. Oh man, it's very good. So we we do know that at one minute and 50 seconds, 45 to, actually one minute and 40 seconds, it was hot enough to take off, it was bubbling. But I just left it on there for one minute and 50 seconds. Everybody's bragging about the pocket rocket stove. You know, the, the fancy ones that they always bragging about, the backpackers. This is better to me because it's only $12. The pocket rocket stoves are like 60 to $80. Do we want to try it on a propane cylinder? I guess why not? And let me show you what you do. <clears throat> Turn this all the way off. These cylinders are uh, what they call self-sealing. So what we will do to take this stand off, all you do is pull it around to the left. Take and pull it to the left. Now you got it against this one. Pull it one more time. Or take your fingers and just close them up. Look here. Easy peasy. And you just pull straight down kind of like this and it comes off no big deal now to take it off this is a self-sealing canister remember if you watch my other video on the coleman peak one self-sealing that means as soon as you take this off it seals the canister seals itself the top of it to take it off make sure it's cool which it is what we want to do first look go ahead and close our legs up on here why not and how do you close your legs up? Just pull them together. Look here, all the way around to the left. And pull these around to that one. Now it's closed, these little fins. Take your hand, just grab it. Twist it to the left. There we go, look here. So easy a caveman can do so it. So how does it go on a propane cylinder? And the propane cylinders come in one pound. Only, that's the only one, smallest ones I've seen. I'm not aware if they make them, uh, you know, 7.75 ounces, you know, around a half a pound like they do to butane. I'm not aware if they do. I'm sure they probably do. You have to look at it on the internet. All you do is take this adapter, easy peasy, screw it onto the bottom of this. This right here is your burner, your stove itself, the burner. Take this little adapter, that part right there screws into the bottom of this. It's just a propane adapter. And everybody, I've seen the reviews on this, a couple of reviews. They said that adapter by itself is $10. So you're getting a stove and an adapter for $12. You can't beat that with a stick. You can use it on propane or butane. Hey, that's a good deal, $12 at Walmart. Take and just turn it all the way to the right until it gets tight. You don't want to over tighten it and just snug it. Coleman butane was $5.47, same as this. But this burns longer because you got doubled fuel. But for the same price, you get double the fuel, so this will last longer. And it's the same amount of money. So if you're camping, go with this. If you're backpacking, use this. And use this little 7.7 .7 ounce cylinder, which is slightly under a half a pound. It's light. You could carry two or three of these in a backpack. And I've used one of these, I think 20 to 25, about 25, 30 times before you, uh, cooking and using coffee. So the wheel lasts quite a while. If you don't waste the gas, you just turn it up, you know, let it run, you know? All right, to put it on a propane cylinder, you gotta take the plastic cap off. That's just a safety cap to keep anything from getting it in threads. Let me show you how to do it. Sometimes they come off easy, sometimes they don't. Right on top, 
just like clockwork. Snugger up real good, about two twists. We're good to go. Take the fins, pull it out. All the way around. There we go. Like I said, I like the stove better than the peak, uh, the than the Col the Coleman Peak One. I like this Ozark, Ozark Trail Four and One a lot better. I really do already, and I just got got this one. So it's even all the way around. You know what? I'm not going to do a test on this because I'm already tell you. Well, I'm just wasting fuel. I don't want to make this a 30 minute video. It will boil water around the same time, one minute and 50 seconds. I've did it before. One minute and 40 to 50 seconds on medium high heat with this little stove. I've used one of these stoves before in the past, but I did not do a review on it. So there's no sense in doing it. Just take my word for it. So you saw for yourself, one minute, it was bu bubbling. It was actually hot. It was actually already boiling at one minute. You seen the bubbles. At one minute and 40 seconds, it was bubbling and steaming. So one minute and 40 seconds, I said one minute and 50 because I like to get my water extra hot. But at one minute and 40 seconds, you saw it, it was bubbling. I bounce. get this right here, see? And this stove, all you do is open it up and it fits right down in here. The stove and everything, your stand stove fits right down in here. Easy peasy. Got a little loop right here. Now, on big old uh, scale from zero from one to zero to ten like i do my food rating scale when i review restaurants and food and when i'm reviewing items from zero to ten the higher the number the better the product i give this a ten for the money you cannot beat that for twelve dollars you can use it on propane or butane you cannot beat it with a stick it gets big o's thumb of approval hot taste look at our choice look at that steam coming off of it can you see it can you smell what your boy the big o is drinking from your neck of the woods. This does my review on the Ozark Trail 4-in-1 stove. I give it a 10. I get a big old thumb of approval. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, share my videos. Help me to grow right here on the Big O Show. I'm out. I've got hot coffee to drink. Until next time, friends. Later, gators. Mm-mm-mm.